Tasting note for wine number three. Um, we're ready to go, I hope. Um, so the next wine is a wonderful grape variety called Monduce. Um, Monduce is an ancient variety and it's native to Eastern France, in particular Savoie again. So um, that wonderful Alpine region that we've already discussed. Um, Monduce is a very beautiful deep purple um, pigmentation on the skin. Um, it's a close relative genetically to um, Syrah Shiraz. Um, so common factors are the rich pigmentation and the lovely kind of spicy aromas that you get in both grape varieties. Um, it is a bit of a nightmare for vignerons um, because it is a very vigorous vine. It, uh, and as such, it needs a lot of pruning, a lot of work, um, a lot of man hours to keep it under control. Um, and at the same time, it's also susceptible to drought. Um, so it does prefer that cooler climate with good rainfall um, and it can have issues with um, things like pests, um, for example, mites, um, as well as powdery mildew um, and other, uh, other plant disease. So yeah, not the easiest grape to grow, but I think um, a grape that certainly works in Savoie um, better than anywhere else. I would like to see this grape um, tried in Australia. Um, I think it's got a real potential to work quite well here and give other grapes like Gamay, for example, um, and some of the, uh, the more kind of cooler climate uh, Shiraz uh, Syrah um, that we're making a good run for its money. Um, so that'd be a nice experiment in the future. Hopefully some, uh, some producers uh, over here will get stuck in. Now, um, this is from the Domaine de Chatelon. Um, so it's a 2017 um, vintage. Now the Chatelon Domaine is um, uh, quite one of the most picturesque um, vineyard areas I've ever seen um, in regards to um, the images that I've managed to source. Um, so it's just, beautiful sloping hills with an alpine background, um, again, quite close to the Lake Bourget um, that we discussed earlier. Um, but the centerpiece is this unbelievably beautiful medieval castle, um, which is depicted just here on the label as well. Um, the grapes of this are all hand harvested. Um, <laughs> In Savoie, most of, if not, I'd say probably 95% of grapes are hand harvested simply because the, um, the actual slopes themselves are so steep um, that the machines just simply can't work. So obviously hand harvesting is not as economical as using machines. Um, you need more manpower, more man hours. Um, so, you know, that does tend to uh, increase the actual um, uh, cost of wines um, in the area. The vines, again, old vines, um, they don't depict it on the label this time, um, like the Jacquois um, previously, but um, these vines are between 40 and 50 years old. Um, and basically after crushing for the winemaking process, the, um, uh, the winemaker decided to put this wine on um, skin maceration, cold skin maceration for a total of five days. What that's doing is it's extracting a little bit more color um, from the skins. It's also just softening tannin, because um, tannin in Monduce can be quite high sometimes. And it's also enhancing those wonderful aromatics that you're gonna get from the wine too. Um, then once that cold maceration is finished, um, the juice is fermented at 28 degrees for 28 days, which I kind of like the, um, the even nature of that. Um, and um, that's only using the wild ambient yeasts that uh, are provided from the natural um, yeast that are in the air, in the vineyard um, and on the leaves. So um, quite natural winemaking process. Now, then the wine would go undergo um, eight months matu uh, maturation um, and that's only done in stainless steel. So there is no oak um, allowance for this wine whatsoever. Um, and the reason the winemaker chose to do that um, is that he simply he just wanted to retain freshness and purity um, of fruit. Um, didn't really want to take over that lovely fruit character. So, um, tasting notes. Vivid purple colour you'd expect from the Monjuice grape absolutely comes through. Um, delicious aromas, more pungent aromas this time of those violets again. Um, those lovely kind of rose petal elements to it as well. Fresh raspberries really kind of shining through there, um, both on the nose and on the palate. Um, and then there's a lovely backbone of white pepper, um, which I really like. Again, that's a similarity to um, a lot of um, cold climate Syrah that you might find. Um, the palate itself, definitely medium um, body, good palate weight behind it. It's plush, it's fresh. Um, the tannins are silky and fine and really well integrated into the wine, I think, as well. Um, good acidity. Um, Savoir wines, again, they do tend to have that nice kind of a uh, little bit of crunch to them in regards to the acid because it's such a cool climate. Um, and then the finish, yeah, just good, lingering um, and uh, really cleansing. Um, so I really hope you enjoy that wine. Um, we'll be back with wine four. Thanks.